Hey guys, Dan Lutz again, AB Normal Outdoors. I want to show you the axe mask Randy just got done for me. This is made by Stitch Gear Outfitters, Randy Smith. This is uh, my design, I called him, wanted my axe to hang just right. It's movable, it'll ride anywhere I want to. Randy worked his butt off trying to get this thing to not hang forward and not hang back. What we do is we've got a real nice sheath. Let me get around there and take his belt off and I'll We'll discuss a little bit. I think you guys are going to enjoy this thing. What I got here, guys, is uh, this belt's also made by Randy Smith. Everything I got is built by him. I re redesigned everything. What you see is it's uh, this belt will ride up on any good size belt. You can see that now. You can see that this thing's a little bit overkilled. <laughs> Randy's good. Randy, Randy ain't afraid to put the leather in it. What you do is got a pin release. You can see it. That's my logo on there. This is mine. That way Randy can't sell it. So uh, believe me, he'll try. So, axe comes out. Get a better look at this thing. Look at the stitching on that, guys. Well, that's Randy's mark on the back. See the brass. And the old buckskinners years ago had their tomahawks. That's how I used to dress for buckskinner years ago. And my tomahawk sat in the same design. And I got to talking with Randy about overkilling it and be about safety. So why I designed it this way, number one, it's easy to get your fingers on that pin, no buckle. It's in there good enough that it's not going to come out. You can sit on it and it's not going to come out. It'd have to rip this leather to do that. But while uh, I designed this because if you're a trapper, uh, you'll understand that you, you should be using an axe. Uh, I do a ton of beaver sets and I, I don't, I just shave the wood to a point. It's the way I set my 330s up. I use the natural materials around it. And uh, if I can get this stinking belt on right, right away while I'm talking, which I actually got on backwards, believe it or not. What I'm looking at is now it's up there. And why I designed this, this thing like this is anytime you put a sheath, I got to carry a cross draw right here. Anytime you, I put a sheath on, I have to look back. Well, my back don't allow me to twist around and do horizontal carry and stuff like that. So I can move this up forward when I need it. Big hands, got the gloves on, can get the snap out. I'm gonna lift this ax up like this. I'm gonna grab it by the pole of my fingers around it. It's locked up. And I'm gonna come out with it, just like that. Now I'm gonna do my chores and whatever. You can see my grip I have on this knife. Why I didn't design with the ax forward is because when I go down, my palm of my hand is in the blade. Over here, you have my arms out way, but I pull my mask up, find the hole. Now I'm trying to look at the camera and do this. Move all that stuff. Look down, and it's right in. And my arm was out of the way, everything's out of the way, that razor sharp Grand Forks Brooks. So, guys, if you get a chance, check out his website. This thing's just overkill. This is, I'm gonna say it again, it's another lifetime. This thing is built by an American. You know, he puts his heart and soul in this stuff. I mean, he really does. It, it took him a long time to get this ax to ride right. We had a lot of phone calls on this ax. So you, you guys, you guys get a chance. Uh, he's building a new website right now. See, it's, it's actually falling down. There's no weight on it. Once you put weight on it, it'll never fall down. But that's a, this thing will fit four axes that we know of. The Grandfall Brooks Forest Ax. The Hunter's model and two models of the Welling that look just like this. Uh, I don't know the name, I forget the, the numbers they set on it, but Randy's tried it with his Welling's axe and, and it actually fits real good. So, guys, you get a chance, you know, check this thing out. You know, uh, if you're going to the Pathfinder Gathering, we're going to have them down there. You know, just take a look at that. I mean, it's overkill stuff. Uh, 
guys, it, you know, if you're going to be trapping, let me bring this up a little bit. Guys, if you're going to be trapping and stuff, uh, it's dangerous out there, guys. Just got to be real careful. Carrying axes and knives and pliers and steel wire and uh, ties and traps that'll fire off on you for no reason. So, uh, but while I got you on video, guys, let's see what we can do. Let's do an axe challenge. Ooh. I kind of started mine playing with it, but I ain't going to use this piece of wood. But I'm going to try to carve me a spoon with Grand Forks Brooks Forest Axe and nothing else. Now, the bowl's kind of tough, guys. Sharpen your axes. Get them sharp. Be very, very careful. But that's what the next challenge is. So give me a shout. Throw me some pictures when you get them done. Uh, let's see if you can do it. Be careful. Be real careful. Let's see if you guys can do a spoon with Grand Forks Brooks. Hey, guys. So ask mask. Axe mask. <laughs> Hard to say. I'm a hillbilly. And uh, spoon challenge. Let's get it on, guys. Guys, thanks for, for all the kind words on my videos and stuff like that. I'm just a hillbilly trying to do this dumb stuff. I have a ball at it. I really do have a good time. I like the comments, guys. Uh, so be safe out there. Let's have some good times trapping. If you can't get out and trap, take your knowledge and teach a kid how to trap. Get them out hunting. Get them out fishing. I don't move that good. These videos are going to help share my uh, knowledge of trapping. Uh, my little secrets that I use. I hope they're helpful. They've helped me. If I can't get back out trapping because it's back, so be it. At least I passed on the knowledge, guys. It's a knowledge thing for me. Share the knowledge, guys. Guys, really appreciate it. Thank you very much. I'll see you on the next video.